Okay, this chart review is for Zarina. This is Tokamak, uh, which is originally from Lovely Text 1, but it's also an ECFA. Uh, we're just going to run through it once. I'm actually recording before 11 p.m. today. Um, and I also just recently started Jujutsu Kaisen, and I kind of want to watch that. So, today's video will be hopefully short and sweet, um, because I think... I think, I think you'll be happy with, with my findings. Um, the, the deal is that there's a lot of 8th note side switches in this. But they're all mind, like, mind cued. So it's not like they're gonna catch you by surprise. But, uh, I found that it's easier just to triple step them. So here, just triple step every time you see a side switch. That's it. And there's gonna be some crossovers. Um, you can choose to double step them or not. Um, I generally do the turns, but uh, I had not been playing this chart very many times, so sometimes the turns caught me off guard and I like double step some of them and then do the turns for, I would say, most of them. But yeah, that's it. I think that's really all you have to know about this chart. Everything else is pretty standard. Every side switch, just do a triple step. And this, this slowdown is pretty stock. This is like pretty... DDR-esque slowdown. Tell jump there, but... Yep, same with these. I, I think what's gonna be challenging is that if you're, um... Like, cheating this sidestep and then going into turns... Uh, and then out of that turn there's like another triple step you have to do. Uh, it might be hard to kind of juggle that in your head. But it's nice that the... All of the um, side switches are cued by minds, so you can use that as your visual cue to know when to triple step instead. This intro's... stock. There are crossovers here. Uh, if you know that they're coming ahead of time, then this this notice hit with the right, so you could just start this with the right as well and double step it. Otherwise, this is meant to be a turn. Uh, with your left foot here crossed over right. And there's another one similar to that, but uh, cross under. I just double step it. Th those kind of sections though are ones where like the pattern and like the number of notes that are 16th notes is so like inconsequential that whether you decide to do a double step or not, or like to do the form, doesn't really matter too much. So yeah, let's see here. Can I get all these notes in view? Okay, I'm reading a little bit fast, but yeah, just uh... Right? Right? Uh, and you can't see it here, but there is a mine here. Right? Uh, so just do this as a right as well. And then you can do all of those as triple steps. Same thing coming up. Yep, same thing here. This is on a right, uh, so just make sure that you're hitting both of these right as well as the down arrow that comes after. So they're in groups of three. Uh, this one's left, so this down arrow... It, it's tricky when the 16th note pattern starts on an upper down arrow because it, it seems ambiguous. Uh, but just trust that the third note you hit is going to be on the same foot. So these are two lefts, um, so to complete the triple step, you'll hit this on a left. Yep, uh, and then it goes into a foot switch, so don't get too caught off guard on that. Left, left, left. Right, right, right. Left, left, left. Right, right, right. And then I got a miss somewhere. Left, left, left. Right, right, right. Uh, I think I just like, did I just like have bad form on an up arrow? Is that an up arrow foot switch? I missed something. Yeah, I think it was just bad form on an up arrow foot switch. So here's that. 
you can see here, I've been playing a lot of stamina lately, so my my pads have been a little bit more raised than normal. Uh, it's probably just uh, not releasing the panels soon enough. And then just learn that slowdown, and you should be good. I think I think that's really it for my advice. We can we made this video in less than seven minutes. Just triple step the side switches. Uh, remember that there might be tech that comes immediately after it to not get caught off guard on that. But that's probably the biggest piece of advice I have. Yeah, that's all. You get, come on, Zarina, you're good. You can figure it out. Um, I did. I did intend on recording this twice. I wanted to do like a comparison. I wanted to do one run doing the form, and then I wanted to do one run cheating it. Um, but then I realized that doing the form on this, like doing the side switches, is really really hard. Um, and so at that point, I was just like, this is not. It is not worth educating people on how to do the correct way when the triple step like cheater way is just so much easier so just do that uh thank you zarina for the request i hope you uh and whoever else is struggling with this chart uh can finally kind of knock this off your list i'll catch you guys tomorrow